What is up, YouTube? I am the original Renaissance man, Devon Da Vinci, and right now I'm gonna be checking out a video for a video game that I am looking forward to. Um, I haven't looked forward to a Spider-Man game like this since Spider-Man 2, and this is Marvel Spider-Man, uh, the New York City open world trailer. Um, this is, I believe the uh, studio Naughty Dog is making this. The same people that does the, uh, Say Elder Scrolls. It's um it's Uncharted, Uncharted series with Nathan Drake in. It's probably gonna be the best Spider-Man game since Spider-Man 2. If anybody else remembers Spider-Man 2, the first time you got in that city and the first time you started swinging, you cannot tell me that you didn't have some dr uh, Grand Theft Auto vibes coming from it, where you would just go around the city and you could spend hours before you even do the first mission. And this hopefully will give me the same feeling. Let's go ahead and check this out because I'm really curious to see how the open world aspect of the game works. Or it looks. September 7th. Welcome to Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, alerting the fine citizens of New York City to the threats they don't even know about. Namely, that menace Spider-Man. Our first caller is... What'd you say your name was? Hi, uh, this is Peter P Patterson. <laughs> Don't you think you're a little hard on Spider-Man? Let me tell you something, Patterson. Spider-Man treats New York City as his own personal playground. Just yesterday, I saw him doing backflips and 360s. Disgraceful. Running and crawling on buildings. In fact, I have it on good authority that he's been doing swan dives off of skyscrapers. It seems the more confident he gets, the more creative he gets. Hey. Walk like a normal person. <laughs> Come on, what's wrong with a little sightseeing? Uh, New York is super diverse and constantly changing. Uh, maybe he's just looking for vantage points to monitor crime? Crime he's causing, you mean. Sources tell me he has backpacks filled with who knows what hidden throughout the city. Unauthorized research stations. Get a permit like the rest of us, loser. Ever since he came onto the scene, prancing around like an 80s action hero, gangs have been setting up shop, using warehouses, construction sites, and rooftops as bases of operation, putting lives at risk. Who does he think he is? Spider cop? I really feel like he's trying to help people. I don't want to hear it. The fine people of New York deserve better. My uncle once said, with great power, there must also come great responsibility. Is that Miles Morales? Maybe this is just his way of growing into the hero he wants to be. Recent Spider-Man. from what I've seen, the people seem to be A-OK -okay with that. Agree to disagree, Patterson. Spider-Man only cares about one thing. Himself! Jameson out. Hey, that was actually nice. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this out of the way. Um, I already told you guys I'm a part of a. Well, I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna do speculation and stuff about this trailer. Um, I already told you I'm part of an Amazon affiliation uh, program, so um, I probably have a featured link for this game in the description down below. So if you plan on pre-ordering this game or buying this game, uh, if you could do me a favor and click on the affiliation link and purchase it through there, that way uh, Amazon will give me a commission to help you know support this channel as well as not costing you a single cent extra. It's the exact same price you would have bought if you would have went to Amazon normally. It's just this way they also give me a commission. They give me a commission out of the money that you would give them. So um, the, with that out of the way, Let's get into the speculation for what I expect for this game. Now, Spider-Man 2, while it was an amazing game and everything else, of course, it came out during PlayStation 2 way back in the day, so it didn't have a lot of things in it that normal um, games that we expect now should have, like a lot of uh, diverse AI when it comes to the pedestrians, and um, I don't think you could really do too much with the cars at the time. And the city, even though it was big and... Uh, offered a lot of opportunity to do stuff as far as like gameplay there wasn't a lot of variety in the areas and stuff like most of the buildings were pretty much the same and things like that um so what i want to see is i saw that he was interacting with some pedestrians you know taking selfies you know uh giving high fives and things like that so i'm guessing they're gonna uh bring back a system that was in some of the older spider-man games and that is 
the ability to do like side quests and like uh, spontaneous crimes that pop up throughout the city. Um, I'd like to see a lot of variety in those. I'd like to see something that's a little bit deeper than just, oh, chase down this guy and uh, get my purse back or something like that. Like, I want to see something that goes further into that. Like, maybe it starts off as something small, like trying to catch a crook to who stole a purse, but then turns out he gave the purse to some type of crime syndicate, and now you have this little thing where you have to go into a building and uh, take down the main guy, and then, you know, you get... You, you pretty much bust a drug ring or something like that. Like, it doesn't have to be extremely deep, but just, like, add a little bit more into it. Um, I like to see a little bit more interaction with the cars. Like, I, well, actually, that'd be kind of dark. Because <laughs> people would just be going around destroying cars and stuff. I, I know how you think. I've seen people play Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, you could say you playing by the rules and going to do everything uh, legitimate. But over time, you guys like to do some crazy stuff. And something tell me the pedestrians and the cars will let's just say they better have the insurance papers intact um so i guess having car like interaction with cars is okay but let's hope that the pedestrians are okay afterwards and the last thing i wanted to see what was it there was that that oh yeah um i like to see more interaction with the buildings themselves like i said the old games had a lot of the same variety when it came to the buildings and things like that i like to see this game have it where you can go into buildings if there's something like theaters or something you can go into those um maybe show some type of cutscenes or anything like that like maybe you could replay cutscenes that happened during the game that you've unlocked um Maybe you can have secret cutscenes that you can unlock by doing certain um, achievements or missions or whatever. And, you know, I like to see the ability to go into certain places like stores and stuff. Maybe you can buy stuff. Um, if they're sticking true to the Spider-Man lore and not really going into the movies, then maybe you, ha you can, like, buy web fluid or something like that. Or, like, new costumes uh, I remember the old games, they had it where you can unlock different costumes from, like, different comic books. So you can unlock, like, Spider-2099 or Spider-Man, like, the Black uh, Symbi uh, Symbiote Spider-Man or something like that. Like, I like to see more uh, costumes that you can actually unlock. Don't just make them DLC. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Uh, the game looks, ex like, exciting enough for me right now. Uh, the things I do want to see are just things outside of the gameplay, like little extra stuff. So I can't really, I'm not really critiquing it too much in, or anything like that. Uh, if you're excited about this game, make sure you leave some comments down below and let me know what you think about it. If you like this video, make sure you like, hit that uh, subscribe button and share this video. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to move on to some more videos and I'll, hopefully I'll see you guys there. I'm going to give you the deuces. Peace.